The streets of Belarus's capital are being taken over by women, leading protests, and they say the country's path towards change. Our president said that our constitution is not made for women and that women here can only serve the government, they can only serve the man, that we don't have this chance, that we don't have enough knowledge and possibilities to govern. Uh, I guess that this symbol of three women showed that um, we have this chance, we have also the voice. Uh, we are equal, and in some cases, we even stronger, I guess. Elections in Belarus have rarely been this polarizing. For the past 26 years, Alexander Lukashenko has been crowned the victor. In an event, many in the country refused to take part, not believing the elections to be free or fair. This year, Lukashenko, who has repeatedly said Belarus was not ready for a woman president, had his seat and his credibility challenged by three women who came to embody Belarusians' exasperation with his administration. Maria Kalesnikova is the only one left in the country after her two campaign colleagues fled Belarus over security concerns. Kolesnikova says she is not going anywhere. Her mission isn't over yet. We're going to continue to insist on having free and fair elections, on releasing all political prisoners, among which are our friends and loved ones, and we're going to create a platform to support those who suffered during the protests. Rights group Amnesty International said authorities have targeted women involved in politics in gender-specific ways during the campaign. Activists reported facing threats of sexual violence and of their children being taken into care. Kolesnikova says things were different among the people. I feel a big support from Belarusian people. People meet me in the streets, applaud me, hug me, and I hug them back. I know that together we can change Belarus for the better. Those protesting on Thursday said this election proved women can speak on behalf of Belarus. And after 26 years of virtual silence, they seem determined to seize the opportunity to make their voices heard. Annelise Borges in Minsk, Euronews.